you hear the stories in in that in those years that the male wrestlers had to go through some hazing and bullying sometimes with guys like JBL and Hardcore Holly. Was there anything like that with the females or was it easier for men? No, it's not easy. No, hell no. Are you kidding me? Hell no. I remember I got signed a three-year contract. Um, the contract was like, it's a book. It's a Bible, right? The contract, they, they yeah. Um, I remember having a lawyer, he goes, I've never seen a contract like this, but you know, I, I get it now. But um, I remember going to the locker room with my gear bag, put it in there, and I'm very OCD. I set my makeup up, like foundation first, powder, like that, because I didn't think I was, I was so new, I didn't think I, I deserved to get my makeup done because I was still proving myself. And I come back to the locker room, my stuff is outside the door. And one of the girls, and I'm not gonna name drop it because we're really good friends, um, said, sorry, this is for contracted girls only. And I go, oh, I just signed a three-year deal and I got my bag and I just rolled and I got dressed in the janitor's um, closet at the arenas. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And it was, humiliating but i get it now because the godfather hoes at the time were brought in from strip clubs and things would be missing in the locker room but i wasn't i wasn't smartened up about that so i i get it now i i get it where you know my wedding ring was stolen or something like that i get like bringing some stranger but i'll never forget ivory lisa moretti mandy and i we didn't know the road we had to get our I remember getting that contract. They're like, congratulations, you're full time now. Um, you have to get your own rental car and your own hotel. I go, is that a congratulations? I have to pay for my own stuff now, you know, um, cause we're independent contractors. And she, she came up to us and said, you know, would you want me to travel with you? Let me teach you what the road is like. Um, like we go, we get up, we'll go to Cracker Barrel or Waffle House, either do breakfast or we'll do breakfast after we work out, go to the gym, tan, tanning was the thing back then. There was no, self tanning maybe pro tan that kind of stuff and she drove with us and to that day um i remember like i always invited the rookies that got signed would you like to travel with me um and show you what it's like i i took pride i was the one that i got along with all the rookies i don't care if you just last a week and you don't um i don't think any human should be treated like that i'll be honest with you i get it like i was never in a, a sorority um, I, I have three older brothers who would over their dead body. I would join a sorority, but um, I don't, I don't get that mentality. I don't, I think you should be welcoming and make it a good, pleasant experience. Like what if this person tears their knee like in, in a month and they're like, wow, this is a shitty experience I had when I got brought up They have that in there. And you know, that it causes a lot of tr traumatic mental breakdowns. And I just, you know, any job, like, you know, it's just like, Jesus, be patient we don't know what the hell we're doing. It's a new lifestyle. We don't not used to, you know, I was in college. I was a biomed student and did not think in a million years, I'm going to be a wrestler. I thought I was going to go to med school and just, you know, don't judge a, a book by its cover. That's what I always say to don't judge, you know, it just, we work hard. You know what I mean? If you're given that, 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 that next step, like, oh, Hey, we're signing her. We prove ourselves, you know, we, we try, we try, we try, we try. Christy Hemi, for example, she was the diva search winner. Um, she was my favorite. And I remember I wasn't on TV at the time. I was like still going to TV, but not used. And I go, give me Christy Hemi. I'll make her look like a million bucks. I don't care if I look like an asshole. I'm a heel, bad guy. I don't care. Give me her, give me her. And I worked with her and we got, you know, we did house shows, live events. Um, live events that's what they call it now and we would get there three hours before with rick ricky steamboat fit finley regal lance storm all the guys like most of the the known guy like the, the the legends would come art anderson like would come in and help us help and watch us like okay you need to do this like you know because chrissy hemi wasn't didn't come from wrestling either and so and i didn't either so i was like the patience of working with someone new and being gentle and i was you know a lot of people on their last matches you know like candace michelle my last match and that was for tommy dreamer at house of hardcore um i'm gonna wrestle lisa um victoria they don't call us no one calls 
Sizz. I want to wrestle Sizz. And um, I was very giving in the ring, which was double-edged sword. I was way too giving sometimes. But, you know, um, I was very patient. If something goes wrong, I don't get pissed off. It's, you know what? We got one show. Keep on going. No one knows what we're doing out there. Just keep on going. You know what I mean? So um, the longevity of my career was being, I, I think it was being with the rookies and letting them shine. I didn't, you know, like, you know, how I, I would never like question why, why am I losing this match? I, hello, it's a show. You know what I mean? But why, why this, this new girl w w winning a match? I just, I, I have a problem with certain things in the business. Um, but we're all there to better each other. And as they say, you're only good as your opponent. You know, it's it's not just one person. Like, you were awesome, but she was a shits. That's, it's both of you. I don't care who you are. You both make each other look good. After the match, you say sorry before the match. Sorry if I laid it in a little too hard. But we're live TV and HD, like when it turned to HD. Sorry now, at the end, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And you have your best matches with your best friends because of trust issue. I'm putting my body on the line and I'm protecting you. I'd rather hurt myself than my opponent, you know? Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Twitter at the Hannibal TV for instant updates.